welcome to my channel. My name is Linnell, and today we're watching Kim Porsche episode five. The last episode was very intense. At least the last like five minutes were very intense. We got that sex scene, which I think there's like a big debate on whether that was a good, I mean, we all know it was acted well, but the context just was not good. And I really hate that Porsche was drugged. Other than that, in episode four, not much else happened. We did get more Vegas content, which was awesome. I love seeing Vegas. He's just such an interesting character. So whenever he's on screen, I'm always like, yeah. <laughs> for my last video, I got like a copyright strike um, for episode four. And I think it's because I didn't center the sex scene enough. So I tried to re-upload it and no matter how hard I tried, it would not allow me to i kept getting a strike so i submitted the video to be on cloud and like i said with like the first episode they just don't like me <laughs> they don't like my channel or something because they will not unblock me they've unblocked a lot of other people even people with like little to no subscribers but for some reason my videos they just refuse to unblock i have a feeling it might be because i especially with the last episode i didn't really enjoy episode four that much and maybe that could be why or maybe they just i don't know but yeah so this episode will have a, a filter over it. i apologize but i'm sure if you're watching this reaction you've already seen the episode so you probably don't even care about the filter if you want to watch this without a filter um you can go to my patreon it's my three dollar tier i have all the other episodes on there um with no filter and my full reactions so yeah, <laughs> yeah, let's just get to the episode and thank you so much for watching. Ken looks like he regrets what he did. Right. I mean, he did attack their family member, Macau. He did. I mean, he didn't push him, but they think he pushed him. You just want to hug him. Are you fucking dumb, bro? Are 
They're so mean to him. Yeah, he's failed a lot. He hasn't really gotten punished. <laughs> Sexual. This feels a little sexual. <laughs> I mean, it's not obviously. It's like they're treating him like a dog. Like, what even? <laughs> oh, jeez. It's like... He's all bruised up. I guess those aren't bruises, they're more like, um... He's having flashbacks. Oh, so everybody knows that that they slept together? How do they know that? How do they know that? They can tell tell everybody? So worried. I was gonna, I was gonna hate Taekwun. I was gonna hate him from now on. Oh. oh my god, that worried me. Oh my god, I'm so mad. I mean, I'm not mad. I'm glad he didn't do anything to him, but that would have made me hate Taekwun.
They're so easily amused. <laughs> You drank it while it's on fire? You don't blow out the fire first. Not interested. <laughs> Apple seems like a good kisser. <laughs> say I'm loving this episode so much already. This episode feels like episode one. <laughs> We're not supposed to like Vegas, but it's so hard not to like it. <laughs> Thank you. 
We're not supposed to like Vegas. This is cute though. Aww. Are we supposed to ship Vegas and pour? <laughs> jacket on <laughs> oh they're so cute if he wasn't going to be with Ken I would want him to be with <laughs> Vegas aww cute ขอขออนุญาตแล้วมึงบอกแค่จะไปกับไอ้คุณทําไมบอกแม่งมึงเรื่องแค่นี้แม่งต้องมาขอเลยบอกมึงหลายทีแล้วใช่มั้ยว่
นจะมาเป็นหัวหน้าบริการของคุณเขาเป็นแบบพูดในสิ่งที่ต่างกันมาแล้วนะเขาเป็นคนPorsche doesn't have his phone. But why would they not let him have his phone? How would he communicate with the other with the other bodyguards? That doesn't make sense. Unless they gave him like a brand new phone with new number. There could be no BL without a song. Somebody has to be singing in these BLs. It does not matter. <laughs> Is this how Kim starts to fall for him? No pants on. I'm going to. <laughs> Why does he never have pants on? <laughs> Why does he never have pants on? <laughs> I love Pete. He's my favorite. <laughs> he never locks his door and he never has pants on. 
ก็ไม่มีอะไรเป็นพิเศษนะครับมีแค่มันดูซึมซึมครับนี่ไม่ใช่ว่ามันทำงานภาคคิดว่ามันอกหักซะอีกYou can tell he's never had to talk to anybody like this. Like he's never had to make an effort. But since he really likes Porsche, he wants to make an effort. <laughs> like he can't be his what he usually would be or what he he can't say what he usually would say How they know they were there? How do they catch up to them that fast? <laughs> These guys with the masks on, they're not that smart. Because I would have like body checked 
cannon boards to make sure they didn't have like a tracking device on them. He's always getting shot at. He's always getting hit. I also, if I was one of those masked guys, I wouldn't have chose a big truck with those bright lights to travel in. <laughs> it's just like, okay, here we are. We obviously have Kid and Porsche. <laughs> How have they not crashed? Oh, that's why. That was Kim Porsche episode 5 and that was definitely an improvement from episode 4. I feel like so much happened. It didn't feel like it was dragging this time. I think how they handled what happened in episode 4, I think they handled it well. I mean, it shouldn't have happened to begin with, but at least can apologize. I mean, <laughs> it shouldn't have happened and can apologizing is the bare minimum i mean let's just be honest but yeah <laughs> some people may think that ken and Porsche should not be together at all because of what ken did while others may think ken just apologizing is enough i'm in the middle i i just wish it didn't happen to begin with but it is what it is we'll see what happens further at least ken is making an effort to apologize and hopefully we don't get a scene like that between them again but hopefully everything else will stay consensual we got more between kim and porsche and their dynamic is very cute and sweet and hopefully it stays like that since barcode is i think he just turned 18 but while, while they were recording this he was only 17 so let's hope that it stays cute and they only hold hands because Jeff is like 27, so that's, <laughs> um, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, we got that cute moment between Vegas and Porsche, and that was, I know Vegas is such a bad, he's supposed to be such a bad guy. How cute was that? <laughs> and I know Vegas is going to be with Pete, but they haven't had any interactions yet, so I don't know how I can ship them yet if they haven't had any interactions, but... I can't wait until they get together because Vegas seems so serious and mysterious while Pete is so funny and cute. I just, I cannot wait to see them together. I hope they deliver because on Twitter, there's so many people who love Vegas Pete. They love that couple and they hype them up so much. So I really hope that Bible Bill delivers. It would suck if the chemistry doesn't isn't strong and you can't just see it like oh, that'll suck so bad this episode definitely was an improvement from the last few episodes this episode was amazing it was really good it kept my attention nothing dragged it felt like every scene had a purpose and it made me feel like episode one even though episode one is still my favorite now this episode will be my second favorite <laughs> I cannot wait until the next episode. Hopefully we get some more Vegas Pete. Hopefully that starts. Go to my Patreon if you want to watch the full uncut version. Yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.